There's only three things I photograph. Dogs, oh, I love dogs, right? Nature and wildlife, that, that's it. That's all I really care about. It's cute, I, you know, I like cute. Cute and dramatic. I like to make people smile. So when I see animals like doing cute things, like I really try to capture that. An awesome like grizzly bear, uh, moose feeding, like the friendliest guy in the world. We had whales so close, they come up and reach. I mean, you can smell their breath, which is not good. It was not good. My name is Dennis Splinter, and I am a professional wildlife, nature, and dog photographer. I'll give you five tips on photographing your dog. The biggest tip I, I tell people when they're photographing their dog is, is think backwards. You set up your background, you set up your light, you set up a location, and you set up a time. And so you, you actually construct the photo backwards. And then when you're there, you're ready to go. That way, the only thing you have to do is shoot. You can take your camera, bang, bang, bang. The second tip would be, it's all about the light. Early morning, late afternoon, best quality light. Keep the sun over your shoulder and lighten up your dog. Bring assistance, bring assistance. Like you can never have too many people on a photo shoot. Bring treats, bring treats, right? We could all bribe dogs, right? They're, they're bribable. So uh, something that they um, have never had before, like something stink, like a sausage treat they never had before because they will do anything for the treat. I use a lot of props, especially for puppies. Anything that they can't climb out of, like the like carts, uh, tractor seat, uh, flowers, uh, like beds and whatnot that they, they can't climb over, it, it'll hesitate them enough so, so you, you can get the shots. This is the pro tip, the secret tip, right? So uh, shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot, right? You can never have too many photos, never, ever, ever. And here's the, here's the secret, right? If you never show anybody the bad ones, they think you're really good. So that's the that's tip, don't show anybody the bad ones. That's the best tip. I am also the author of a uh, children's picture book called Buddy's Magic Window, all with photos I've done. So what's really cool is it's all wildlife and puppy photos. Kids and parents and grandparents are loving it. They love it uh, because you don't see too many children's books, right, with real photos. They're, they're real. My, my whole premise was I just want to make people smile. I really didn't care about anything else. I just wrote it from the heart, you know, that's, that's really what I did. I already took two major self-publishing awards. I'm pretty humble about my photography. Like, this is what I do. I've, I've done it. To me, it's a gift and I like to share it. I say keep shooting. Keep shoot everything you can. Keep shoot everything you say. Because as we get older, right, we get older, there are going to be memories that you can't replace. But with that said, the, the best photos are awesome. When you, when you get that one, you know, when you click that shutter, you don't even have to look at the image. You know you got it. It's like, wow. It's like, there's, there's no better feeling. It's, uh, it's fantastic.